Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian High Commission London has tweeted regarding its recent meeting with Rolls-Royce along with the Director General of TIDO. The discussion was focused on deepening Rolls-Royce existing and planned partnership with India in aviation and defense sector. Two pictures were also shared by Indian High Commission. In the first picture, we could see a presentation titled An Indian Engine for AMCA. And in the second picture, we could see a turbofan engine. Turbofan engine is an interesting technology. It's a combination of turbine and fan. In these engines, a gas turbine is used to generate the mechanical energy via the combustion of fuel. The mechanical energy generated by the gas turbine is used by a ducted fan to force exit of air from the engine. The airplane has to pass through turbine and combustion chamber. Input to the engines is fan thrust and output is jet thrust which pushes the aircraft forward and lifts. In fighter jets, the low bypass turbofan engines are used in which jet thrust is more than the fan thrust. This is achieved with the help of an afterburner section in the engine. An afterburner injects additional fuel into combustor in the jet pipe behind the turbine. Therefore, it is called afterburner. If we relate this to Kaveri engine being developed by DRDO's GTRE, the core of engine without afterburner section has been stable and various past issues related to the core of the engine has been fixed. It has met its dry thrust requirement of 46 kN. However, it is yet to be certified. GTRE has planned the performance and operability of Kaveri engine across the flight envelope in attitude test facility in 2022. The initial flight release that is IFR certification of engine is planned to be completed by 2024. Once the dry Kaveri engine is certified, GTRE may begin the work on upgraded jet engine with a new afterburner. However, the timeline may derail due to Russia-Ukraine conflict as DRDO depends on Russia for the flying test bed of the engine. Even if the dry Kaveri engine is certified, it will not be able to power the fighter jets and will be used in UCAF such as Ghatak. To become self-reliant in the indigenous engine development, India should be able to develop engines which can generate thrust of 110 to 120 kN. The engine should be able to power AMCA, the upcoming fifth generation fighter jet of India. AMCA Mark II, which will be integrated with indigenous engine, is expected to enter production after 2032. Ten years from now, will not be enough for GTRE to develop a 110 or 120 kN engine due to lack of expertise on modern low bypass turbofan engine. Racing against the time, DIDU is looking for assistance from foreign OEMs such as Rolls-Royce and Safran. After the visit of UK's Prime Minister Boris Johnson in April 2022, a statement was issued by British High Commission in India which said that both leaders noted cooperation in key areas of strategic collaboration including modern fighting aircraft and jet engine advanced core technology. In response, the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi welcomed the UK's announcement of an open general export license in defence to facilitate technology engagement with India and open opportunity for India to participate in UK's aviation and naval ship building programs. Rolls-Royce has long standing type with HL and has been manufacturing engines in India for 60 years. The company currently powers the Indian Air Force Jaguar deep penetration aircraft, Hawk trainers and the C-130J Super Hercules. They are also keen to partner on co-development of an indigenous engine for AMCA which is speculated to be a variant of Eurojet EJ-200 with thrust of 110-120 kN. DIDU has also offer from French engine maker Safran which has developed M88-4, a high thrust class engine that can produce thrust of up to 105 kN. It is also working on next generation engine that will power six generation fighter jets. 
The commonality between both the engines is that the core is a derivative of M88 engines which powers the Rafale fighter jets, but the thrust requirement is going to be much higher. Back in December 2021, the Defence Minister Sri Rajnath Singh had informed that France has agreed to make an engine in India under the strategic partnership model. He further added that such an engine is currently not being even made in France. The engine will have next generation FADEC and low IR signature. There have been several reports this year related to the expected conclusion of a deal with Safran. However, till date, there is no confirmed news on that. The recent meeting of Indian High Commission and DRDO's official with Rolls-Royce indicates that DRDO is still exploring options with both the OEMs. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.